What's up everybody? Omid Succeed with Omid here. I want to talk to you a little bit about variations on an exercise that everybody has always referred to as just the push-up. If I actually start talking about the full push-up or the dictionary definition of a push-up, most people actually can't do even one. That's when you lie directly flat down on your stomach, get the arms in a good push position, I'll do one of these for you, and press up off the floor. Another way to do it? Up over here, press off the floor. It's hard. It's a lot of load on the shoulders. It demands a ton of control, not just from the chest, but the shoulders, the rotators, the forearm mobility, the hip stability and spinal rigidity, a lot of the quad control. It's a ton. And it's interesting to me that a lot of my clients seem to be in the senior age range. And when they start telling their younger, you know, nieces and nephews and whatnot that they can do a push-up that younger people always laugh at them oh you can't do a push-up you know this sort of stuff so part of this video is actually to cover just the big range of the different types of push-ups there are and how when people refer to a push-up they might not be referring to the exact same push-up that you know and this is also one of the problems in my industry is that a lot of people tend to oversimplify everything they just call something a push-up or a pull-up or a squat and they do one version themselves and they know what the fuck they're talking about and they can coach anybody on anything. There's hundreds of variations. I'm going to try and cover just a couple of them in this video, give you guys a, a little bit of a range of different things, all right? First variation I want to cover with you guys, I've had tons of clients this has been very helpful with to actually activate the correct muscles getting into the push-up, the down part. Gravity is not what gets you towards the floor. You actually have to control and pull yourself towards the ground. So I've got a wall here. Best friend for teaching this is just a wall push-up. The closer my feet are to the wall, the easier this is. If I'm just at arm's length, there's not a lot of load here. But what I can teach people to do in this position is pull themselves towards the wall with a straight spine, stabbing the shoulder blades into the spine, and then allowing the arms to bend pressing away by pushing their arms straight first and keeping the shoulder blades back and then pushing away. If you saw my video a couple weeks back when I was teaching this with a client, I taught her on a high table first and then took her down different steps towards the floor and she got it right away, uh, getting that shoulder retraction and everything worked pretty well. Next variation of a push-up that I like to teach a lot of people, no, this is not a girly push-up. Please stop being sexist with that type of crap. I've messed up a lot of guys with this push-up when they really start to actually hold their spine straight. And that's the reason we go to the knee push-up. A lot of people, when they get into this straight leg position, they start to round their back or they get this duck butt thing going on. A lot of guys, especially, really have trouble engaging their glutes and rounding underneath. So bringing the knees down takes the load off the lower back and allows us to drive our hips down and our abs in. Then we can do the push-up a little bit less loaded. Once people learn this, then I'll take them up into here. But if they can't hold a straight arm plank, why make them do a full push-up? Just do these. It's just fine. What's commonly referred to as the full push-up is when you can hold yourself in that straight arm position, straight legs, tight butt, coming down towards the floor and pushing yourself back up. If you can do that, rock and roll. It's easy. But try challenging yourself, putting the legs up and still trying to lower yourself to the floor as you're doing this. The incline push-up. If you're a fan of stability like me, TRX straps or any suspension equipment works really well for this. You can also prop your feet up on a stability ball or whatever, but TRX push-up. It's the same damn thing, every single one of them. Keep the spine straight, keep the glutes squeezed, keep the core tight. Use the chest, shoulders, triceps as the main drivers, but it's still a core exercise. If you want to be a real badass and work on some functional core strength and integrating the entire front of the body, back of the body, all together, and keeping that spine completely safe, you really want to test yourself out. This version of the push-up really separates the, uh, the novices from the advanced people. Disclaimer, the shoulder can hurt like crazy here, so if you got shoulder problems, might be one you want to save for later. But the true definition of a push-up is actually doing it from the flat ground position and getting up off the ground. I'm going to tuck my toes, squeeze my booty, getting the thumbs in line with the eyes, 
up by the forehead, tuck the chin flat, and press up off the ground. All the way back down. You really want to test yourself? Lift up the hands again. Pressing all the way back down. That's a full, full push-up. So there you have it, guys. A whole bunch of different ways, variations, anything you want to do to the push-up pattern. It is not a move, it's a pattern. Labeling it as a wall push-up, or a bench push-up, or a TRX push-up, that's what actually makes it a move. This pattern of getting from here or here to here is a pressing or pushing motion, all right? Master that, work on it on your own. Last thing I wanna say, part of the reason that I did this video is it actually kind of upset me that somebody would tell somebody else that they can't do something, period. If you are somebody that watches these videos, you're obviously somebody that wants to better yourself in any way, if you hear any of that type of stuff, please disregard it. It's ignorant and it's actually kind of hateful and judgmental if somebody else to do that to you. Just be mindful, be kind to that person, smile and wish them well, and then just do your own thing, okay? There's always gonna be haters out there. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't do anything but love on them as much as we possibly can. I hope this information was very useful to you guys. As always, have a whole lot of fun with the push-ups. I'll talk to you guys later.